Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome to Mob Factory. Basically, if you combine Factorio with a tower defense game, you end up with this very, very unique little butte that I found. So basically, top left, this is our, this is sort of like our castle thing. It's got a health bar. That's what this is up the top. If enemies get that, the health bar will go down. And if the health bar empties, it's game over. Now, this end, this is where the, the enemies spawn from. So this is like a wormhole. And we've got to use these tools in the bottom left to stop them. So we'll start off with a crossbow. We'll We'll just rotate so it's pointing down there and you'll see as I click this can you see the red line goes along the line the line is where the worms are going to travel across uh, so it seems pretty sensible you can just plop these about but you'll notice if I were to like I don't know shove one in there because I've put it on the line the line has now moved anyway so I'll move a crossbow to there I'll shove another one there so we're doing like three bits of damage so hopefully that'll be okay so if we now press play you'll see this wormhole it's got like a shadow thing on it and as that closes like that we should see some worms pop out. So our crossbows are doing damage to them. And then if we do enough damage, obviously they die. There we go. And they've dropped some resources behind. Now, if we click on these, it says down here, these are clubs. Yes, wooden clubs are dropped by worms. And basically in this game, the, the waves don't get any harder. So as, as that works, we know that it, it works, basically. So as more worms come out, more clubs are dropped. Yeah, and it's our job to pick them up. We can just click them like that. Or if we come to the bottom left, look, we have conveyors. Now, conveyors don't move enemies. So if we were to plop these on there, you'll see all the clubs, they move to the end of the conveyor. Very nice. And I am just going to move the conveyor down one like that. And then we're going to build one of these, an assembler. So that's going to go there. Oh, I just pinged a club nearly off the edge of our map. And then we're going to set this up to make bronze coins. So yes, this assembler turns wooden clubs into bronze coins. Don't ask for the logic in that. It just works, okay? I and mean, the game sort of it gives you like what to aim for. So you can see our goal at the moment up here is to make the bronze coins. And you can see there, one's just popped out. Now, if I if I click that, that ends up in my inventory. But essentially, if anything gets over to this tower, as it says here, conveyor items into here to store. So if we just take our conveyor system back along to there, you can see the coins now go into there and that goes automatically into our inventory. Now you might be asking, well, Matt, what do you want? What do you want bronze coins for? Well, bronze coins are used to buy new islands. So if we click the buy islands button up here, you can see we've we've got a few more islands. Now we can zoom out a little bit and just see what's going on. So we can either buy this island or this island. You can see each one costs one bronze coin to get. I'm confused. I nearly called it a bag of coins. I don't think it's a bag. I mean, it looks like a bag. It says bronze coins, but it's got a one on it. I, I don't know. Either way, it costs one bronze coin to unlock each of those. So let's unlock this one. You'll see there is a bridge, which means we need a bridge review. View. A drawbridge spanning two space rocks. It's the only way to connect them. And it leads to an island that contains two new weapons for us. A crossbow and a propeller. Now the propeller does area damage. So we can shove that like there. And then with a crossbow there, we've got a nice path for our worms. Next up, we can do a conveyor to take the resources across the bridge. So therefore, I give this bridge an 8.1 out of 10. Bridge review. Yeah, so basically on this side, we've got we've got spider enemies, which are a lot stronger. You can see they've made it to our castle. It's losing life. You will notice, though, that life bar, it does go up over time. Uh, but we need to work on our defenses. Uh, thankfully, we can buy all these extra weapons. So let's get another crossbow. It's going to cost 10 of the wooden clubs. So there it is. We'll shove it there. So that should remove the remaining spider spider enemies. So let's just see. Oh no, it didn't. It didn't. Now worth noting, we also have the wall down here as well. So if we were to rip up this conveyor belt for now, we can actually place walls to move where the enemy goes a bit easier. For example, we could do that sort of thing. If we delete that and then move this area damage to there, then we should be doing a bit more damage before they move on. So we'll see how this goes. Oh, they're still escaping. They're still escaping. So one more crossbow then. I reckon we'll shove that probably on there. Or perhaps if I shove that one like there. Yes. Okay. I think we've got it working finally. Let's pick up these swords. Now, because these are a different enemy, they give us a different resource. Not wooden clubs anymore. No, no, no. They give us these iron daggers. So we'll just shove our conveyor belt going over to there for now. And you can see our new goal is to collect silver coins. And you also know 
noticed we've unlocked some new things as well. So we got splitters, sorters, as well as the cyclops, a fast short range weapon. Yeah, but first I'm going to try and focus on these coins. So if I grab another assembler and then I shove that, I don't know, there for now, we can tell this one make silver coins. And then we can see down here, we use that to buy new islands. We need two bronze coins and 10 daggers. Now I do still want to collect daggers because I need them to build like some of these other things like the cyclops and the splitters. Uh, so I'm actually, I'm going to use my first splitter. Uh, let's just check where do the enemies get to. Does this? Oh, I don't think this... Okay, that's not actually doing anything. So we can get rid of... Yes, yeah, so that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to... Let's buy a couple of splitters. And if we shove that there, you can see it's going to split things either way. So if we convey it that way, and we take that conveyor into the castle, and you can see half of these daggers are going to go up Half of them are going to go down and be stored in our castle. So the ones that go up are going to end up in our assembler that's going to make the silver coins. We just then need to get some bronze coins down. So up here, we're going to shove another splitter. And then we just need to craft some more conveyors. Although look, insufficient resources to craft. That is because all of my daggers are going into the going into the assembler. So what I need probably up here somewhere, we delete those conveyors. We need another splitter. So with a splitter there, we can then conveyor those over this way which means we end up with that. So these clubs, half of them are going down to make bronze coins. Half of them are going up into the, the storage area. And this conveyor, that's the same one that the bronze coins are being split onto. So that is perfect. The only thing we need to do probably is store the silver coins automatically. So if I just buy a load of conveyors, now I can make these manually as well, but for now, just to save space, uh, you can see I'm just crafting them down here. They take three seconds each, so it shouldn't be too long. So my master plan is if I delete that, put a splitter there, then I can take this conveyor around that way into the thing, and then you can go straight, well, sort of straight up, we'll go up to there, and then as the coins come out there, they should go onto the same conveyor belt. So essentially, these swords go up to the castle and then any silver coins hopefully they'll come out that side and go straight up as well oh i came out why'd you come out that side <laughs> all right well anyway whilst we're trying to see if that works let's expand again so by islands yeah i guess we'll come over to this one you can see we've got the same weapons there because it's the same sort of deal oh, i think it's exactly the same layout okay that's cool so we can literally mirror what we had before although no we can't no we can't it's not a mirror image it's like it's like the same image but it's not mirrored, if that makes sense. So we do need to do a different layout. I'll tell you what, I might just, if I put my area damage guy in there, oh, and delete the wolves. I don't need the wolves. Okay, that's cool. All right, area damage blades. Are you going to work? No, absolutely useless, that thing. Although I do have two of them. So if I shove another one there, perhaps that will... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, that works. That works perfectly. Because uh, basically, we need to make silver coins quicker. Look, they're like... We're not crafting any. In fact, we can press this button in the top right. And that shows us exactly what we're what we're creating and what we're killing per minute. So what I could do, I could just make these ones go into there. And then over this side, get rid of this splitter. Because uh, that means we're sending more over to here. However, look, we're storing so many daggers. I feel like we need more worms. Now, you may have noticed bottom. Look, we have a worm spawner. It costs 20 daggers. We can craft one of those and then we can literally shove this in. So we're spawning more worms. Yeah, so for now, I guess if we shove that there. Ah, you can see the line has gone that way because that's the, the path of least resistance. But uh, let's get some defenses going. So I think maybe because we have so many daggers, I might get a load of these cyclops things. A fast, short range weapon. So yeah, let's build four of those and maybe a few of these area damage ones as well. And then if we block them off right now, they're going straight up. We probably don't have the firepower to take them out. No, look, they've still made it through. So we definitely need our new towers. But I reckon area damage in that corner. We can then do a cyclops there. Actually, if I do all these, it should cover like both arm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That is good. That is very good. And then we can just convey it up like that. So these guys get absolutely obliterated. All of their wooden daggers end up on there. And then we should be making the bronze coins a little bit quicker. I mean, since I've got 31 bronze coins, I might just get rid of that splitter for now and send all my bronze coins down there to get made. But yeah, for now, this is working perfectly. And I think we can probably afford to go buy another island. Um, oh, man, we've, we've got like a conga layout this time. Usually, like, they sort of go in like up and down directions as well. This time they're all going to the sides. So yeah, these cost one silver coin and 
30 bronze coins. Oh, it's a good thing I saved up bronze coins. Uh, I reckon we buy this one. Oh my goodness, there's a skull. What is that? Okay, so the one thing I know about this is because it costs more, it's going to have harder enemies on it. Uh, so I'm thinking we buy a load of Cyclops towers and then we sort of just shove what we have down. So if I do crossbow down there, they should spawn up there. I shove one there, one there. Oh man, they're like skeletons with shields. They got shields. Yeah, so they all made it through. Oh, the base is taken a beating. Let's shove another one over there. Looks like we need more Cyclops. Okay, well, they are all making it through massively. The health is low. So I'm going to hit pause and I'm going to build a better layout, probably utilizing some walls and like make it a bit more mazy. So if I can do something like that, perhaps replace one of those walls with a Cyclops facing that way. And I think I want to send them back so I can do that, that. Oh, they, they snuck around the side. Cheeky. Cheeky, that is. So we'll do area damage there as well. Can we fit another Cyclops? Oh, we can. Okay, this should absolutely annihilate them. Can I get a Cyclops there? No, I can't get one there. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I can get one there, though. Oh, it's still not enough. It's still not enough. Uh, so let's buy a few more area damage and Cyclopses. Right, okay, so we have killed some of them. They've dropped these. I think they're their shields. So we've just got to hope that we're doing enough damage. Yeah, okay, so I think we're I think we're finally getting them all. So basically, you can see they weave through a trap of Cyclopses and the area damage before our crossbow deals with them at the end. Although actually, no, one's just made it. How did he make it through? Tell you what we need. One more Cyclops there. That should just about do it, I think. So we'll pick up all these shields and then we'll have a look at what we need them for because we've unlocked loads of new stuff. So we've got, <gasps> we've got a bridge. We can build our own bridge. So that takes 35 shields to make a bridge. Okay, we've also got a crystal, a slow long range weapon, and that uses a cyclops and some shields to make. And then we've got the spider spawner. So that's there you go on these islands. You can only put the same type of spawner on the island that you're on. So you can't put a worm spawner on this one. This this island's spiders only. This island is shield guys only. All right, we got a lot of clubs. I feel like I need some more conveyors. So what I might do, if I just shove a shove an assembler there, set that to conveyors, then conveyors should pop out the back. Oh, no, it's popped out the wrong one. Why are you going that way? Okay, what if I shove it there? Will they come out the left? Please come out the left, conveyors. Yes, okay, good. So we're now not making any clubs, but we are making lots of conveyors. And I need the conveyors to start moving all these shields about. So do that sort of thing. So this is taking all the shields from the dead skeletons and putting them in our castle, in our storage. So that is good. Now our goal at the moment, though, is to make the gold coins. So what do we actually need for that? Let's just wang an assembler down and see what the recipe is. So 12 shields. Oh, we need sorters and silver coins. And sorters is just made from swords. Okay, that's cool. So I guess here, this is where you want to make the sorters. So we'll add a splitter, then an assembler there. And that's set up to make sorters. These daggers will still shove into that conveyor belt. So we're still making the dagger currency because we need that for a lot of things. Yeah, but we're also making the sorters now. Okay, so that's good. Um, I'm then going to want to take my sorters probably over this bridge. So I'd probably swap these round actually. So the assembler goes on top and the sorters that come out, we're going to take them across this bridge. Although no, 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 we don't need to go over there. We don't need to go over there. What are we doing? We've got all the resources we need. We've got the shields over here. We've got the sorters here. We've got the daggers here. So yeah, essentially assembler there. This one's set to gold coins. You can then just bring that conveyor belt down into there. And then all we need to do is just bring the shields up. So let's just tweak this slightly. I'm going to move my cross crossbow down one. Although I don't even think I don't think I need the crossbow. I think we're dealing with them all early on. So that's good. So basically that conveyor goes to the splitter. Because remember the, the conveyor belt doesn't have to follow the path of the monsters as long as they drop their resources before. So that's fine to there. So we've got half the shields going into that, half going up, which will go across this bridge. And then we can just connect those together, which means you can see the shields coming across the bridge. They go past this conveyor, which is bringing the sorters onto it. Oh, I've just realized the gold coin doesn't take damage. Daggers. It takes silver coins. So we don't have everything we need. We need to get silver coins over to here. Now, where are silver coins made? I think this one, right? So yeah, if I just delete that and take a conveyor belt out that way, will a silver coin appear on here? Yes. Okay, so there's the silver coin. That is good. 
Uh, trouble is, we've sort of blocked ourselves from using this bridge. So I'm going to have to move this up. I assume I can delete this worm spawn. Yeah, I can. Yeah, so what I'm thinking, if I just worm spawn there, then suddenly we've got space to go around. It's just whether these cyclops will do enough damage. Ah, oh, yeah, perfect. Perfect. So we'll bring this down around there, across the bridge, and then over to this conveyor where they should end up in there. So here comes the silver coin. You can watch it go around the worm spawners, across the bridge, and then it should land on this conveyor, go down into there. Nice. So we just need two more silver coins and then we'll make our first gold coin, which means we can then buy our next island. And oh, what does it cost? Oh man, it costs so much of everything. Five gold coins, 20 silver coins and 75 bronzes. So yeah, what we might want to do is invest over here and get some more gold coins on the goat. Yeah, but first off, in order to build this, we need a lot more bronze coins. We've only got one. Uh, so I'm thinking this craft uh, if we make you do bronze coins instead. That one was making the conveyors. We got 133 now, so we don't actually need that. I'm sort of thinking, actually, could I get another worm spawner down? Like, if I were to move these cyclopses back, they still cover both of those. Can I put a worm spawner there? Oh, he's gone that direction. Okay, but shove a wall there, and I think that's all good. So we can just convey it up and then that direction. So now we're making loads more wooden clubs. Although, are we? Are we? Are we actually? Oh, that was close. They <laughs> they sure made it through there. That was quite scary. But yeah, more clubs means more bronze coins. And honestly, I'm thinking about rejigging all of this. The trouble with rejigging is you've got to be careful about what happens with your enemies because uh, they're their paths can go over the place. And if like three worm full of enemies get to your base, that could be game over. But I think I've really, I've got to up my bronze coin production. So let's pause and then let's just delete like, well, everything up here basically. Now, annoyingly, I can't move this wormhole. That was the original one. And worth noting, I can't convey like on those dark edges. I can convey there, but not there. That's fine though, I think, because I want to convey around the edge and we can take it to there. And then we've got room for cyclopses down this side. Oh yeah, like that. So what I'm thinking, if I do the same on the other side, is that enough firepower to take out the worms? I need to build more wormholes. I need to build more cyclopses. Oh no, it's not quite enough. So that last, that last end, they escaped. If I shove another Cyclops there, will that deal with them? Still no, they all escaped. Okay, another Cyclops. Almost. One worm got away. <laughs> okay, so that does work. Do I need those two crossbows? No, I don't. Okay, I think I think this is what we're going to do. We're going to mirror this, essentially. So Cyclops is up this side. Wormholes down the bottom. Then I just need to block their path in that corner so they go upwards. I mean, not going to lie, I was hoping they'd all go in different lanes. They all want to go up that first lane for some reason. Okay, let's just see. Can we cope with that? Yes, I think so. Oh my goodness, we got clubs going off the edge of the map. <laughs> come back here. Come back, clubs. Okay, so one worm escaped. That's fine. I think I'm going to shove a crossbow like that. Okay, so that's good. So here's all of our clubs. So they should all end up on this splitter and go into the top and bottom assemblers, which should make Oh man, it's carnage. It's carnage. <laughs> we got too many clubs. Okay, so if I put a splitter there, I can split these onto two different conveyor belts. I can then split these into four different assemblers. And then we've got our bronze coins down here. So we can... I mean, we can't really store them. That castle was completely mullered. I mean, I guess we could delete this conveyor belt and then bring these over that way. All right, so now we're making way more bronze coins. And I guess what we want to do from this point, if we delete that... Shove a splitter in, then we can take half of them down here, and that should end up back at the silver coins and then the gold coins. Oh man, okay. I think I think we're good. Wait, 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 wait. No, we're not. No, we're not. We don't want to send bronze coins that way. Matt, you've got to go turn them into silver coins first. So I think we need to buy another bridge. Uh, 35 shields. We got 254. I've been playing this for way too long already. You can probably see why this is compared to Factorio. You're just like, I'll just spend one more hour doing this. Anyway, we can spin this bridge into place. So I assume if I go there... Yes, that falls across that way. So we can bring those over. I've split that like that. So these swords, half of them will go into the storage. Half of them will come over this way. Where at the end of this, I'm going to shove the assembler. And I'm going to say make silver coins. So that uses bronze coins and the, and the daggers. And then silver coins should come out the bottom. Oh, I just right clicked and deleted it. But yeah, silver coins should come out the bottom. And ow, I just, how did I just lose? Some, I just lost a heart. Was it these worms? Did one of the worms escape? Potentially, potentially. I'll tell you what. 
But if I shove another crossbow like there, that, that should completely save everything. Okay, so I think this area is now good. <laughs> it is carnage. But now we should be making everything we need. Do we have enough? Oh, we just need, we need two more gold coins and four more, well, three more bronze coins. Bronze coins are going up like anything. That is good. We have achieved there. I'm looking at this assembly. I can see it's got lots of bronze coins. It doesn't have enough of the daggers. So again, what I could do, I could automate this a bit better to try and up my production levels. Now, it's, first off, let's buy, I guess we buy a load of cyclopses. And then we got to buy the spider spawners, which cost 20 shields. Okay, let's start with four. We can then shove cyclopses down that side. So that's good. Where do I keep losing lives? Okay, so that's doubled our production. I think we can probably triple it. We'll just buy a few more Cyclopses. We need five, I think. Oh, and it's up here. Look, one cheeky skeleton keeps escaping. I'm saying my screen kept flashing red, which means I was losing lives. Yeah, it's that one there. Now he gets shot in the ass. He does not escape. But you can see the shield is stuck there. So we'll just move the conveyor belt just to cover that. Sorted. Okay, Cyclops down over that side. We'll shove the two spider spawners. A load of conveyor belts. And nice. Now we have quadrupled our dagger production. I'm sort of thinking maybe I can double my silver coin production. There's not a lot of space here. We'll zoom in a little bit, but essentially I've just got to bring... If I bring the bronze coins down to get split into two parts. So whether this is easy to follow, I don't know, but the bronze coin will come down there onto this conveyor belt, onto this splitter. Half will go that way, half will go this way. So if I then assemble that and shove a splitter there, that should take that should take the iron into there. So that's got everything it needs. We've then got iron that comes down down this way. I think this is where we're going to use a sorter. So we'll grab the sorter and say, do that. And then I can say, iron swords go up. Everything else goes right. So with a conveyor into there, we may have doubled our silver coin production. Let's have a look. So yeah, iron daggers going up into that. Hopefully silver coins come out the bottom. So we'll see on this one, Silver coin, yeah, out the bottom, that's good. We want the same to happen on this one. Silver coin, come out the bottom along that conveyor. That shouldn't get sorted, so it just carries on straight through. There it goes, there it goes, yes! Okay, it's working. So we've doubled our silver coin production, which hopefully means the gold coin over here isn't waiting as long. You can see it's the silver coins that's holding us up. Uh, but for now, we can actually afford this one. So we've unlocked it. Oh my goodness, there's pink crystals everywhere. Again, really wishing I'd bought the, the towers first. Let's just get a load of cyclopses, maybe get some walls, and we'll see what these enemies are like. So, oh, they're slimes. They're green slimes. Oh, and they seem pretty, pretty strong in my opinion. So what if we do that 10 cyclopses they are just about no they're not coping they are not coping tell you what though as before might be worth doing the weave if i just replace like these walls with cyclopses that should do additional damage so you want to point up i think All right so i think that's enough and these green slimes they drop like these pearly things and that gives us a skeleton spawner as well as an advanced sorter as well man there's so much to this but yeah before i spend more hours i'm going to leave it there for today if you enjoyed boost your like button very unique game definitely recommend peace love and automated killing bye guys